walking. Put one foot in front of the other and you can go places. In summer, walking is something we do for pleasure. We can leave the four walls of home and go out into the world, among the birds and butterflies and growing things. In no time at all, we feel a connection to the earth and a kindness to the people we encounter on the path. What if we let this connection we feel while walking build into a longer journey of personal and spiritual change? What if this feeling of openness filled our days like a journey towards peace? A journey towards peace includes acknowledging the brokenness of the world. Hatred and violence, exclusion and prejudice, failure to see each person as beautifully made in the image of our Creator. Peace is a sense of wholeness, completeness. Seeking peace is longing for healed and renewed relationships seeking harmony, and treating all with respect. Creator God, teach us to see as you see, to love as you love, to act as you act. Through us, you would stand by the poor, supporting them at the beginning of their distress, not when they are at the end of their hope. Through us, you would side with the oppressed, and challenge us to release them from their tyranny and torture. Through us, you would speak for the voiceless and call the powerful to generosity and humility. Through us, you would care for creation for the sake of all creatures and future generations. Remind us that we are each made in your own sacred image. Celebrate love and tear down walls of division and hatred. Silence racism and still the hand raised in anger. Seek out the lost and missing and protect the vulnerable. Teach us to be reconciling people by Jesus' example. May it be so. Amen. On the definition of peace. Rather than the absence of conflict and presence of justice, Peace is the abundance of wholeness, completeness, and fullness that emerges on the other side of holistically repaired, formerly severed relationships. Peace is what the world will look like when individuals embrace their identity as God's beloved and their vocation as seekers of the sisters and brothers shalom. Peace is what the world will look like when broken relationships are no longer broken, when unjust systems are renovated or replaced for the flourishing of all. Peace is what the world will look like when we understand diversity not as a problem to solve, but as a beautiful reality to embrace such that we all become more fully alive. When we speak of peace, we can call to mind the ancient Japanese pottery tradition called kintsugi. With this technique, a clay vessel is broken and then put back together, but not in its original form. Instead, the restoration process involves the use of pure gold to mend the divides and heal the fissures. The broken vessel is put back together in such a way that it is stronger and more beautiful than it was before it was broken. In Kintsugi, the scars tell beautiful stories of healing and restoration rather than painful stories of destruction. Peace is the holistic repair of severed relationships. When it is realized, our relationships are stronger and more beautiful than before they were broken. Understood this way, peace is not waged when after a relationship has been severed, two parties apologize, compromise, and then treat one another with polite indifference. Peace is not waged when an unjust system and power differential is allowed to remain in place for the benefit of a few. Peace is not waged when distrust and resentment are given space to fester and grow. Peace is only realized when justice is accompanied by the experience of forgiveness, mercy, healing, and compassion. Peace is waged when after a relationship has been fractured and repaired, we who were once enemies choose to stand together as friends, allies, advocates, even family, committed to co-creating a more beautiful, just, mutually beneficial future. A reading from Romans. Let 
love be genuine. Hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Thank you.
Gracious God, your love knows no limits. Fill our hearts with your compassion. Open our eyes to your presence in the world and enlarge our minds to understand your will. Take our hands and minister through them. Speak through our words and direct our feet in the path of peace. That Christ may be revealed in us and the world may believe. Amen. Peace is generosity, not silence. The risk is ours to take. We choose to act, to see, to love. We choose to step with God into the obstacles so that peace becomes the path to walk. May we now take that one step into the world and embrace it as you have embraced us. Know that the blessing of God, Creator, Christ, and Spirit is with us this day and always. Amen.